Hi everyone, today we have a 20 minute full body wall pilates workout to build strength, definition and burn those calories. You're going to start lying on your back with your feet pressed against the wall, shoulder width apart. Your legs should be about at a right angle. Press your lower back into the floor right throughout this exercise. Alternating legs, bring your feet slightly off the wall pointing your toes. Okay, in this next exercise, you're performing the same movement with your legs, but this time your pelvis is raised. Push upwards to the ceiling and keep your glutes squeezed. Don't arch your back. Work hard to keep your pelvis raised right throughout. Okay, keep your hips in the same position, but this time stretch your legs up the wall so that your knees are straight and squeeze through your legs. Alternate your legs, lifting them off the wall. Keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Again, this next movement is similar to the previous exercise. Raise your hips up and torso off the ground so your body is fully extended now and legs outstretched. Make sure your glutes are squeezed and core tight. Okay, with this next exercise, lie on your back with your left foot flat on the wall. Your legs should be at a right angle. Keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Perform small circles, keeping your knees straight. Okay, we're still using the right leg for this next exercise. Raise your hips up, leading with your pelvis and squeeze your glutes. Holding this position, perform small circles keeping your knees straight.
Okay, now we're going to repeat the leg circles lying flat on the ground with our left leg now. Remember to keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Again, with the left leg, perform the same exercise but with your hips raised. Remember to keep your pelvis up and glutes tight. Extend your pelvis up off the floor again with this exercise and hold this position. Slowly and controlled, lower your right leg to the side and bring it back up. Don't let your body twist, it's just your right leg doing the work. You will need to keep your core engaged. Repeat this with the left leg. Okay, now you want to keep your hips in the same position, but your back lying flat on the ground with your feet pressed against the wall. Raise your arms above your head and as you push up with your pelvis, bring your arms down in a sweeping circle. Squeeze your glute muscles. Don't push away from the wall with your feet. This will cause you to slide. Press your lower back into the floor upon return. With this exercise, again raise your hips off the ground leading upwards with your pelvis. Don't push away from the wall. Perform controlled pulse-like movements with your pelvis. Keep it raised off the ground the whole time.
All right, remaining in the same position with your hips with your left foot against the wall so that your leg is at a right angle. Raise your hips up, extending your right leg. Make sure that you're pushing upwards with your pelvis. Come back down, but keep your hips slightly raised off the floor. Again, this keeps the resistance on your glutes, hamstrings and quads. Repeat this on the other side. Place your left leg against the wall and push upwards into a hold position with your pelvis raised. Perform a slow, pulse-like movement with your hips. Your working leg remains bent this time. Repeat this on the other side. Slide your hips closer to the wall now and rest your legs up the wall, keeping your knees straight. You're going to raise your pelvis and body off the floor, leading upwards with your hips and keeping your glutes squeezed. Press your lower back into the floor upon return.
Okay, raise your hips up and torso off the ground so your body is fully extended and legs outstretched. Bring your right leg towards your face nice and slowly, bending at the knee and extend back, squeezing right down your leg. Repeat on the other side. All right, now we're doing some ab work. Lie flat and place both feet against the wall so your legs are at a right angle. In a controlled rolling movement, you're going to perform a reverse crunch, bringing your legs and hips into a crunch towards your face, squeezing your abs. Don't let your hips flop back down to the floor. It needs to be gentle, slow, and controlled. In the same position now, rest your hands at your sides with palms turned upwards. Perform pulse crunch movements, squeezing your abdominals tight. Don't strain your neck or shoulders. It's your core that is doing all the work. Keep your lower back pressed hard into the floor. Come into a push-up position with your feet against the wall. Walk your hands back towards your feet while leading with your hips and keep your knees straight. Try and get your hands as close to your feet as possible. Okay guys, this is the last exercise now, well done. Lie on your front and extend your lower legs up the wall with your knees pressed against it. Extend your arms out in front of you, slightly off the ground, and then bring them in, placing your hands under your shoulders. and Push up through your arms, keeping your back straight. Slowly lower back down. You're not arching your back here. This is a push up movement. Thank you.
All right, guys, well done. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next workout.